What's up guys, welcome back to another drawing tutorial, Vigilante Deku, Dark Deku, Black Deku, I don't know what, like, he's got so many names at this point, <laughs> so, um, I'm going to call him Vigilante, I think, maybe Dark Deku. He looks cool anyway, I've drawn him in the manga version of this, so I thought I'd give the anime version a go. So I'm on a landscape page, use a pencil eraser, and hit pause if I go too fast. Center point of my page is about here, we're going to start a little bit lower than center point, right? It's just a little bit down. We start with his eyes. So he's got these big, gnarly sort of eyes, like ghost spiking kind of, right? He's got all these spikes on them that go up the top. I guess they're rips and tears, right? And stuff, so. And some of these go up quite long, but we'll just get the main shapes for the eye in like that first. Bring it back down, adding some spikes as we go, bring them back into the corner, like that. All right, and then in here, iris, and pupil. So he's got these glowing green eyes. So this spike actually goes like up real far up towards like the back of his head somewhere up here. Right. So the same on the other side pretty much. So you just add all these spiking sections and then this one goes up real long. I think this one does as well. Maybe we'll just And I will, I'll make this one longer. Okay. And then eyes. Just a circle inside there. And the pupil inside there. Do, do, do. Okay, so he's got his mask on, right? So he's got this crazy sort of beaten up mask. It looks beaten up anyway. It's got lots of dents and stuff. So just here we've got this point sort of sticking up in the middle. Okay. And then we got all these bumps and you can be really bumpy with it. You don't have to be like careful or anything because you know it's all beaten up and stuff so it makes it easier for us. There's about four I think on each side right. So They're like teeth, and then it comes down this way, sticks down to a point, back up, then the next one, back up, and then we have a big point sticking down the middle. This will go back up. There's all textures and lines on the inside, but we'll just draw the main shape of it first. Back up like that. Round. Up into there. Okay, so then all the textures and stuff. So all these like bumpy lines, they're usually straight, but it's like it's been beaten up a lot, right? So you just do these wrinkly kind of lines that way. And then some coming up and down here. Okay, and then of course he has those um, holes. They're quite small now and misshapen. Two on each side on the bottom and two on each side on the top. And they might have like cracks coming out of them and stuff. Okay.
Okay, so then he's he's like he's got a lot of black shadow on him. So we, we just have like the side of his mask coming out here, right? Goes up beside his eye. It goes over to the top, back down, and then into the corner of his jaw. And it has like a top line just here. We do the same thing on the other side, it goes up like that, down. And then back down into his jaw, just down here somewhere. And then it has an edge line just on top here. Right, so then his mask, right? So it's all ripped and torn, and it just starts coming out this way, right? You just add all these spiking rips and tears, and you don't have to do it exactly like mine. And this, his hair, or his like rabbit ear type things go all the way up off the top of my page. A few more room, you could just bring it to a point if you want. And then we just zigzag it back down to the middle. And then you change direction about the middle line, you start to go this way. And we'll go, we'll go from here around. So, right, so then we can see some of his hair spikes sticking up in behind. Just there, and they'll have like those green edges on them. Those green highlights that Deku has on his hair. Right, so then a couple more rips and stuff on his mask and lots of hatching and textures. We'll do a little, we won't do all of it. Right, like that's like another tear. And then lots of these texture lines, right? Lots of this sort of hatching stuff. Layers and layers of it. It's just to make it look all ripped and torn and tattered and everything. Mm -hmm. You could do more if you wanted, but I think I'll leave it there. So then, Gran Torino's scarf that's around his neck, right? So we go ripped and torn again, lots of these. Just random sort of shapes. Goes all the way around him. Like so. And then we have a section just around his neck as well. which is all just black inside here. So we can't actually see his neck drawn in. It's just dark black. So we go another sort of ripped and torn line. Like that. 
Right, and then again, we have like lots of these texture lines, like a texture line going all the way around the front here, curving kind of. That, and then ones all on the edges. Right, so, and it's all just black inside there. So then, shoulder and arms, and then is it straps there? to see in this setting. What is that? Prepared as always. <laughs> what is that down there? Is that a strap? Okay, I think it's a strap. Not very clear. All right. Well, we start with his shoulders anyway up here. So he's got ripped and torn parts on his shoulders again. there and then it has those black lines just there sort of and then his red sort of sleeve right and it's all sort of bumpy like this because he has all these bandages sort of wrapped around it right if you followed the manga tutorial it's the same sort of thing right right so all these are like lined wrappings around his arm right and they'll have like ripped and torn sort of stuff on them as well like dirt and all that kind of thing okay do the same thing kind of over here just a ripped and torn shoulder line there we can't really see the black strap as much but we'll put it in anyway you should see it they haven't drawn it in but I'm going to draw it in okay and then again his bumpy arm coming down that way like that and then this has all bandage wrapped around it With some hatching, so just some texture lines like that, and then like a flailing sort of bit, sort of flying off that way. Now inside his body, okay, I'm assuming these are straps. So we've got like straps here, like that, and then like a line that goes that way. And then we have another strap here. Looks like a strap anyway. And then it looks like his body goes down here. And then the center line like that. And then just like some faux lines coming across his chest there. And his arm. It looks like he's got that belt, you know, um, with all the boxes and stuff on it that just comes around his waist. Kind of here. Maybe another one here somewhere. And then just stretch lines sort of on his green there. And then we have to do sort of, he's got like black whip and all energy and stuff coming out from behind him. So we'll just do sort of some lightning lines.
there. I'm like going off this way. And maybe like some all for one short lightning. Like that kind of stuff. Let me do another black whip. whip and then another one just going off the page just doing these sort of zigzag lines and then some short sort of or for one blue bluey green sort of lightning here like that Maybe like his armpit or something should be there. Yeah. Okay, I think that'll do. That's how to draw Vigilante Deku from My Hero Academia. I hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.